we're looking at here. So what we're looking at is a uh, Windows 8 compiled for uh, Tiger 3, and this is the new Metro user interface for uh, Windows 8. It's a very touch-centric uh, user interface, very different from what Microsoft's done before, but very ideal for a tablet platform. Now in terms of specs, I know you guys aren't releasing anything, these are behind glass clearly, right. um, you know. I think the important thing to know is that this is running on our existing uh, Tecla 3 processor. You're right. It has a quad-core ARM system with a low-power GeForce, and it's the same that you'll find on many uh, Android tablets today. And to the right, we've got a demonstration of the video output, essentially, yep. where we're going mirrored up in uh, 1080p. Is that correct? And as far as the functionality you were just mentioning, again, um, on the far right, we have the, um, the split screen function, which was referred to as what for Windows 8? Uh, this is called uh, Metro Docking. So basically, you're able to take whatever app uh, that you have on your essential home screen there for Windows 8, as we can see on the far left, yep. as you were mentioning, like the uh, stock quote, for example, right. and go ahead and bring that over once you open it up and have two things running simultaneously. Yep, and, very you can, and you can even have a movie playing on one side while you're playing a video game or surfing the web on the other. So it really opens up a lot of different possibilities. And, and again, bridging the gap between tablet and computer, obviously, since we're looking at Windows 8 on a tablet. Absolutely. So really, uh, what should be a game changer, and obviously, uh, I believe is, and you guys have it behind glass for a good reason, because uh, in my opinion, it's one of the most important products at CES this year. So. Yeah, I, I know you guys do. <laughs> I'm just saying I concur because uh, no one else is showing anything like this and it's just really impressive. Now there is a front facing camera on there. You've got some what looks to be capacitive buttons as well, right? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, so, so the, the actual button, button requirement that's up for Microsoft to uh, dispose to talk to them about that. Yeah. Um, but uh, from what we know, it's going to have a full, uh, full range of sensors, uh, so gyroscope, accelerometer, et cetera, et cetera. So you can expect a very fully featured uh, tablet when you watch. Yeah, no. They look good and uh, excited to see them come out. As far as manufacturers, I know we don't have any uh, exact slated yet, obviously, but good to see NVIDIA's name on something with Windows 8 running, though, I'll say that much. We appreciate that. Look Thank forward you. to seeing more from you guys, and looks like good stuff. Thanks again.